Hi there, and welcome back to The Future of Documents. As always, I'm Holt Skinner. Previously, we've looked at a lot of different ways to process documents, from pre-trained models to custom models and everything in between. But now, what if we need to store millions or even billions of unstructured documents, manage access and compliance of those documents, and get insights out of them with a managed service? Well, Document AI Warehouse has the solution. It's a cloud-based, fully managed system to store, search, organize, govern, and manage documents and their data in a single platform. It also acts as a centralized hub and storage repository that can integrate with document processing workflows. When you're dealing with a large amount of documents, it's important that your document management platform incorporates four primary components. First, the ability to automatically extract and store detailed data from your documents. Second, search and organize documents based on their contents and metadata. Third, support for governance and compliance layers to limit access control and ensure auditability of your documents. And last, flexible integrations to handle workflows such as document approvals, reviews, and records management. Let's look at how Document AI Warehouse incorporates each of these components. To handle document processing, you can use Document AI to extract meaningful data and key entities out of documents such as contracts, forms, and invoices. For example, fields like contract number, invoice amount, or employee ID can be extracted and stored for searching and filtering. Then, you can search and organize the rich content within a repository of documents by performing full-text semantic searches on documents and their metadata. This means that you don't have to manually add keywords, tags, or other sparse organization methods to search through large amounts of documents quickly. For governance and compliance capabilities, you can select from different access control modes to choose the one that's right for you. Document-level access control lets you specify which users and groups have access to particular files using Google Cloud Identity or a third-party identity provider. Finally, you can build document workflows with policies and actions that can be used to enforce those policies. You can define conditions based on document types, dates, or values in specific fields, like all invoices with an amount greater than $1,000. Then you can define actions that are executed based on those conditions, such as changing the access control, sorting into folders, updating fields, or triggering external workflows. Now that you have a better understanding of the core components of Document AI Warehouse, let's look at a real-world use case for managing records and document approval workflows. Consider a set of contracts that we might have to retain for a certain amount of time based on legal document retention periods. In this case, you can first import the documents from cloud storage and process all the contracts using an OCR or contract processor, then group the files into folders based on the vendor and type of contract. Finally, you can define a rule and an action that automatically updates the access control list for the contracts based on the amount of time that has passed. This orchestrated workflow ensures that nobody can modify or delete these documents until the document retention period has been satisfied. Today, we've taken a look at Document AI Warehouse and how it can be used as a centralized platform for storing, searching, and managing lots of documents, all with the scale of Google Cloud. Now, you have a chance to try it out and see how it can handle your entire collection of documents. Check out the code lab linked in the description for step-by-step -step guides, and be sure to go to the cloud documentation for the latest information. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.